Hello my soccer universe. Do I really need to do this video? Ugh. I mean, what happened in Germany? I'm quite happy. I'm very in Cologne about that, especially Saturday, but what happened in Austria? Yeah, it's only one game, but we lost, last lost the so-called Upper Austrian Derby. I remain, it's not a Derby, it's a rivalry because I think uh, Ried is not the main opponent of Lask historically or in any way, but it still sucks in many ways to lose a game. And yeah, I think we should, let's get it behind me. Everything from Austria, let's go through Austria and then we'll talk about what the happenings in German Bundesliga with there were many interesting things, uh, but I, f I find it hard, I don't find an overarching theme, but yeah, in Austria, I mean, here are the results, I think the Salzburg again, as I said, they look very beatable. Yes, they have been concentrating very much on the Champions League qual qual qualification. So uh, even against small teams, they get out the wins, but it always looks uh, very much less than convincing. Uh, the big one, of course, is the Vienna Derby between Austria and Rapid. However, it was a so and so uh, tight game where maybe Austria had over a teeny bit more from the game, but um, they scored in the first half really from their first chance uh, where uh, Mühl actually gets his first Bundesliga goal uh, in a derby, which I think that, that uh, sounds uh, something notable. But instead of taking this kind of to move forward immediately after the half, you concede uh, through Marco Grull and then there was really not much happening there and it ends in a uh, probably somewhat deserved 1-1. Uh, As I said, Austria was maybe the slightly better team in there and uh, uh, derbies in Vienna have been ending 1-1 for a long time, now, uh, in a draw for a long time now. And Austria Wien has not won in five games. And then the Upper Austrian rivalry. <laughs> yeah, I would have. I actually predicted it will be 1 1, and this was well there. This was a game that all the statistics were dominated uh, by Lusk. Uh, especially in the first half, you had pretty big chances early on uh, through Goiginger and Nakamura where it, the ball just has to go in, but the goalie made a, uh, a, a great save. And then from a corner kick uh, in the 70th minute, Rainer heads it in from a very short distance. It needs to be defended better, but uh, the header, there's not that much to do. And then, yeah, uh, Reed did not actually, I'm not sure if they had a, another shot on goal, maybe they, they did one. Yeah, they had a total of two shots on goals and seven attempts uh, in that game. There were chances for Lusk, especially in the first, first half where I think you need to equalize. In the second half, yeah, there were a few also, but uh, what annoyed me more is, yes, Reed defended well and I need to give them all kinds of credit. But what really annoyed me is this general feeling that you have no idea how to break down this tight defense. Uh, Yes, you gotta take your chances, and that's the other thing that annoys the heck out of me. It is a continued problem that you cannot convert to chances. But generally, uh, I did not have a, 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 the feeling that they have any way of breaking down the defense. I mean, if you look at statistics, ball ball possession, 73% Lusk, goal attempts, 22 to 7, shots on goal, 7 to 2. So uh, it just tells you a teeny bit uh, what's happening. And I think uh, the Reed goalkeeper, uh, Shaheen Radlinger, made an absolutely um, great game. It was hard to beat. And then if there's too much has hesitation, not too much thrust towards the goal, um, you end up losing. And uh, it has, has to be said, yes, they qualified for the group stage. But it's the league that I'm worried about. I think uh, Lask will have this season a hard time qualifying for the top uh, place, for the top sp uh, for the top six, uh, and then uh, get going again into Europe. And I'm also worried with you know, it's easy to say that there is a, a as an excuse that injuries are happening. But I think it's also I come more and more this comes back to to the coach. It cannot be. We have lost now another two players for. Uh, four weeks. Yes, some are coming back, but they're not really fit. It, it, just something's not quite right. It, there's some rot setting in that I'm very worried. So, uh, 
in the table Lask finds themselves now in eighth place and uh, in the final regular season standings you see a uh, still fourth but it gets tighter and tighter and Salzburg of course uh, way ahead and in the expected final standings um, Salzburg will become champions I think Sturm and Rapid will be the ones and you see Reed suddenly is in there in the top six which for them would be a great achievement so uh, let's see where it goes um, Austria win now seventh they're still in last place although they actually I think Aust Austria win in many ways is doing better than uh, Lusk um, and yeah that's the first game back after the international break I really hope I really hope that they can somewhat recover uh, that because it's it's just horrendous what has been happening the last few uh, weeks in the Bundesliga now off to Germany I think I mean the first game on Friday uh, Holland Mania although he was not the man of the match that that was a uh, Köbel the, uh, the, uh, the goalie for uh, uh, Dortmund. It was a game where in the first half Dortmund played very well and then second half, but there were no goals scored. In the second half then it goes in all kind, 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 kinds of weird ways. I mean Reina scores uh, a goal in for ninth but then uh, Hoffheim really gets themselves back in, 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 into the game can equalize twice and you know it's all the young stars are uh, hitting the goals for Dortmund. Reina, Bellingham and Baumgarten and Tabur I mean, to, e to equalize and I think one overarching team I can say Theme that I can say is that many Austrians scored uh, this week in the German Ball Bowls League, which I found uh, rather cu cu curious. Munsterbu equalizes in the 90th minute, and, uh, and Hoffheim thought, yeah, we may have that point that they probably will be deserved, but then Holland, I mean, typical force Holland, I mean, he is kind of initiates the chance, then the ball comes back, then it's uh, is saved, and then it lies somewhere, and he just slams it into the net, and that was that. Holland mania all around and steals the head headlines. As I said, he was maybe not the star player in this game, but he uh, was the decisive fac factor again. Frankfurt, I'm really worried now. They are under Oliver Glasner, former Lask and Wolfsburg coach. Um, they have a really hard time getting their act together this season. Uh, Hauge, former Milan player, uh, so he's on loan from from Milan. Probably will get. Um, there he scores the first goal in Frankfurt for 60 minutes pretty much controlled that game very well then suddenly they all lost it and then in his uh, first uh, Bundesliga as, um, game came comes on the 81st minute Wimmer in the 86 he scores the equalizer and then he was a thorn I mean Frankfurt didn't really hang on to that draw that was also a big um, a break uh, because uh, I think the goalie of uh, Bielefeld uh, um, crashed with um, defender. Augsburg Leverkusen is only known not only because the first two goals by Augsburg were own goals but of the highest degree. I mean Iago wonderfully lobs the goalkeeper and then Niederlechner with a um, flying header into his own net. Beautiful stuff. Uh, just in the wrong net and uh, the only thing that was otherwise no, no longer is Augsburg I think has the worst uh, jerseys in the league at the moment. Um, the game ends 4-1 for Le 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 Leverkusen. Um, they had another game actually disallowed but I think in, in, in a way 4-1 uh, reflects how strong those teams are. Köln! Winning again, second win in three games. They are now uh, under new uh, coach Stefan Bonga. They're a very dynamic team. Uh, running, they are the, they are the team that, has, that runs the most in the, in the Bundesliga and honestly they should have put the game uh, away sooner. Modest uh, hitting twice the post, uh, one early in the first and one late in the second when it still was still nil-nil and they had a, uh, the goal through um, Ljubicic which was with a handball uh, taken away and you really thought that at this point uh, they were trying and trying and they cannot find the goal and Bochum, especially for the for first half, they, saw his son, they suddenly could keep it calm. And then in the second half, Bochum also, I mean, they didn't do much offensively, but defensively, they were really, really solid. But uh, Köln didn't give up. And in the end, it's an Austrian co-production. Kainz uh, crosses in. He came from Austria Vienna. And Louis Schaub, who came from Rapid Vienna, uh, puts it away uh, from me. Made a great goal. And then a very similar one, 991st. 
uh, through Lempele, who I think also made kind of his debut, or his, he, he is a local boy, uh, makes it 2 0, and you think, yeah, that's it, but then very late, later on, Zola, who actually lives next to the Cologne Stadium, <laughs> uh, makes it 1 uh, 2, but it is a win for Köln. Stuttgart, Frei Freiburg. Um, the way that the game went was maybe a little bit belying how open this game was in the first half. I mean, Freiburg had a 3-0 lead, but at that point it could have been, well, only 3-2 or whatever. Just, just before the half, within two minutes, Stuttgart pulls one back. Then they try, but the game in the second half really petered out and it was more a defensive struggle. Uh, struggle of a completely different sort. This was Hertha pulling up. Uh, Hertha is a mess. Absolute mess. Uh, and I think they will have a hard time staying in the league uh, the way it turns out to be at the moment. Müller, Lewandowski, Musiala, uh, Le and, Le and, and then two more for Lewandowski. You know, Haaland mania, but I think it's Lewandowski who, told, who is still the top scorer. I think that's what has to be clear, clearly said. And then I didn't see much, m much of it, but uh, the so far surprise team Wolfsburg Winning 1-0 against Leipzig and Leipzig also having kind of an off start, but Wolfsburg is the only team that won all the first three games. Roussillon scoring a right F, 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 F. Uh, attack that was actually nicely played, but then seemed to be saved. Ball falls to him and he puts it in from a short distance. And Wolfsburg, I have a feeling they start well now. I have a feeling it might not last in, in, in any way, but for a start, pretty, pretty good and yeah makes me a little bit happy as well um to see yeah they're not a small team either but you know you know it's to see someone else up up there uh leverkusen and bayern freiburg is uh do, enjoying all all so good start and as i said uh current really doing well at this very moment on the bottom Hertha, I think, has to worry. I also think that Eintracht and Gladbach will not be happy with their starts. Uh, Stuttgart also, after this great 5-1 of round one since then, it's kind of so and so. But I think the two teams that at this moment really look that they should not, that they're not worthy of the league, but that doesn't say much. We said this about Mainz a year, year, year ago and see how well they did. But I have to say that uh, Fürth and Augsburg are not cutting it at the moment and those are the two uh, that are also at the moment the model is saying that they should go down lots of movement a little bit lower the on top seems to be rather stable and coming back from from break we actually get two really nice games with Leverkusen cool against Dortmund that's a pretty interesting one then Leipzig against Bayern which has always been a fun game to watch as of late so that's what it from the Bundesliga, far from the Bundesliga, I am more happy with what's happening in Germany, uh, Austria. I really want to forget about it, but yeah. What can I say? Give me a thumbs up um, to if you enjoyed this video. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Drop a line below what you think uh, about what happened in these leagues, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might actually enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and also hit the little bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day!